Ilya Bravo, The Art of Sound. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ilya Bravo here and today I will bring you a short video about the story behind one of the most iconic soundtracks in the history of gaming, Ground Theme or Overworld from Super Mario Bros. But before we get started, please leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any new content. Let's -a go! Super Mario Bros. was released in 1985 under the direction of Mr. Miyamoto Shigeru, who would later become Senior Managing Director and Representative Director of Nintendo. You people know him pretty well. As we all know, the game was released for the Nintendo Famicom System, or the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, and the responsibility of making a fitting soundtrack for the game fell in the hands of Mr. Kondo Koji, a prominent pianist and composer born in Nagoya. His first notorious work was Punch Out, where he was tasked with creating not only the soundtrack, but sound effects as well. Working at Nintendo's recently founded apartment, the Entertainment Analysis and Development, or EAD, he began his most notorious work in a game that would break record after record in sales and become one of the most influential games of all times, Super Mario Bros. The premise? Two Italian plumber brothers, Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, travel to a magical kingdom full of monsters to save Princess Peach from the hands of the fearsome dragon tyrant Bowser Coppa. Creating the soundtrack for such a game was a tough task for Mr. Kondo, and one could think about an epic music with a full-on orchestra or a pompous medieval theme or an adventure fanfare of some sort. But no, instead, the result of lots of trial and error was this. Ring any bells? Of course it did. Kondo was actually creating themes that were deemed too slow for the pace of the game, and as perfectionist as he is, he wanted to make a theme fitting not only the green grassy environment of the game, and a more laid-back, lazier theme, but to be harmonical to every move of the character, as Mr. Kondo himself declared in an interview to the portal 1UP in 2007. Set in C major, the rhythm of choice, pushing things apart from the electronic trend at a time, or even an epic approach, was something close to Calypso, an African-Caribbean music style originated in Trinidad and Tobago around the 19th century. Here are some examples of this music style. The Calypso is known for using various percussions in its music, like bungles and steel drums. But how to reproduce such complex instruments in the basic programming language and only four channels of audio in the quite limited audio processing unit of the NES? Lots of hard work, of course. He didn't have what we call digital audio workstations back at that time, so a lot of programming underwent the development of this relatively simple but historical theme. Some things are better explained visually, so this is the reason I made this fancy presentation for you people to understand what is going on in the music as it plays. With the help of an oscilloscope, we can view the waveform pattern of the complete theme with all the instruments. It's aligned because there is no audio playback, so let's hit play. Let's break it down. 
This is a square one. It's a part of the APU that reproduces square waves. The second is square two. It's another type of square wave channel that combined with square one creates various instruments. The third channel is for triangle waves. The song has very discrete bass, but it has to be there. Everyone loves some bass, am I right? And the last one is for noise and clicks. Use it extensively for percussion not only in Mario games, but in most of NES game musics. Now let's play ground theme with all the instruments on again. And now let's play each channel separately. Let's begin with square one. Hmm, <laughs> sounds weird, huh? Remember? This channel plays together with square two to create the lead instrument. This is the reason it sounds strange. Now to square two. Hmm, this sounds better. More like the actual tune. Now let's play square one and two together. Whoa, we're actually getting somewhere. As you can hear, both square channels mix together to create some sort of chord, which enriches the instrument considerably. Let's play the basic triangle now. As you can see, the basic part also hits some high notes to add some more flair to the lead instrument. Quite smart, Kondo Sama. Now with the percussion. That's some quality beatboxing there. It sounds something like dance and bass or some lit hip hop beat, huh? And now, let's make the magic happen. We will activate each channel until we play the entire music completely again. Mr. Kondo still works at Nintendo and was responsible for making the music of many other Mario games. From Super Mario World, the universally praised Nintendo 64 best-selling game of all time, Super Mario 64, up to the most recent, Super Mario Odyssey, released in 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. So, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and again, please, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you won't miss any new content. See you next time!